This procedure video will take you through the techniques of assessing and maintaining a paediatric airway. The MCAM OSCE exam has previously asked the candidate to demonstrate paediatric airway competencies in a number of different guises. It is most often assessed during an APLS scenario, but could well be assessed by asking the candidate to describe airway procedures to a medical student. This video will revise the initial assessment of an airway, the utilisation of airway manoeuvres, the utilisations of airway adjuncts, and then the ability to take over ventilation using a bag valve mask until a definitive airway can be achieved. Take a moment to familiarise yourself with the equipment and to think about the anatomical differences between an infant, a child and the adult airway. It's important when assessing the airway of the infant to have the head in a neutral position, so not in the same position as when you're assessing the adult airway. Again, we'll have a look in the airway for mucus or anything that may be obstructing and we'll look, listen and feel for 10 seconds for any respiratory effort. So there is respiratory effort, so if we wanted to provide supplemental oxygen, we would just apply a face mask. A face mask should cover the mouth and nose, but not extend beyond the chin. This face mask is possibly a little bit big, so we would look to resize it. If you start to become concerned about the airway, so the breathing, for example, becomes noisy, first thing to do is to think about the position and try repositioning again into the neutral position as the baby's head may have slipped. Another alternative would be to apply a jaw thrust by hooking your fingers underneath the angle of the mandible and pulling forward. If this is unsuccessful, an adjunct could be attempted. A Goodell airway, which would be sized in a similar way to how we size it in adults, so from where the incisors were.